So I hope everyone is in uh, excitement about the verse that we read today. Uh, so Devi will read. It is verse 39 of Vila Pakusmanjali. And Gurudev just went quickly. We'll be back soon. Thank you for this honor that I I'm allowed to read. It's actually a very, very honor, uh, very famous verse that you choose, Sue Devi. I remember all, always when our Gurudev Narayan Maharaj was speaking. You also remember Jayananda Maharaj. He liked this verse very much because actually this verse is about the supremacy of Radha's Kripa Kataksh, her merciful and her enchanting sidelong glance, uh, and how much she is making him. Uh, how do you say? Motionless and faint and lose his consciousness. Everything that he has ever desired, that he wants to forget who he is, that is happening by Radha's side of glance. Sri <laughs> wow. wow. So today, uh, Sudevi will be today. Uh, yes, yeah, Sudevi so is here. Yeah. Yeah. Good if. Big hug to you and going down. <laughs> yeah. So, first 39. When can I blissfully worship that Radhika whose arrow like glances cause the prince of Raj to faint? His wow. yellow. His yellow cloth to fall off, his crown to loosen, and his flute to fall from his hand. Huh. Again, I read wow. this verse. When can I blissfully worship that Radhika? whose arrow-like glances cause the prince of Raj to faint, his yellow wow. cloth to fall off, his crown to loosen, and wow. his flute to fall from his hand. My God. Yes. Oh my God. Mm. <coughs> Shri Radhika's arrow like glances. Wow. It's an arrow, her glances. Yeah, Just. Janana no, no, no. <laughs> is called by Gurudev. <laughs> yeah. Plain by. Plain? <laughs> Maharaj, beautiful to this. This is very beautiful. Just remembering <laughs> this is feeling so much ecstasy. 24 and a half. Yes. Mm. And yes, this is very interesting. Explain, but yeah. <clears throat> so I don't know. <laughs> I can explain. I don't know, but try by the mercy of Guru Dev, by the blessing of Guru Dev. I try to explain. <clears throat> Actually, Guru Dev mentioned this bus. Is describe karma gaitri. So karma gaitri is kind of 
all Gayatri there. Among the Gayatri, topmost Gayatri is Karma Gayatri. <clears throat> Because some people say Gopara Mantra is highest. Might be true because Gopara Mantra describes Sambanda, Abhideya, Prayojana. That's true. But the karma, huh? All explain. All go very detailed. Sambanda, Abhideya, Prayojana. All, all make show us. Um, so ask that. Yeah, no problem. You can do it. Okay. <laughs> by by blessing Gurudev, I don't know. Here, somebody may not get Gayatri Mantra, but uh, by Gurudev's oh. blessing, I explain. Uh, Karma Gayatri a combined. Uh, Krishnaya, Govindaya. Oh, say the mantra. Is okay? <laughs> Now, without telling mantra, huh? <laughs> you cannot say this? mantra. So, at first, coming clean, Bij mantra. And then, Krishnaya. Gobindaya and Gopijana Barabaya and Swaha. <coughs> so, cream means Bij Mantra. Some people say cream is represent Krishna. Also, some people say cream. Describe Yada and Mohan and their love and their loving expression, like embracing, they like kissing. So, this can be every desire can, can fulfill. Yeah. So, and then, at first, Krishnaya. This is, uh, at first, uh, this Krishnaya means Sambanda. Sambanda means <coughs> relationship. So, relationship with who is Krishna. Krishna, but actually, this Krishna, especially this, it is said, this Krishna is Madana Mohan. So we are in this material world, we are alluring so many material desire, especially material. Uh, last, but uh, if Krishna is so beautiful, Krishna is so attractive, so someone who see Krishna or someone who hear Krishna's fruit or someone feel Krishna's soft touch. Or some, if someone feel Krishna's Adara Murita, or someone smell Krishna's very fragrant uh, you know, smell, then 
all forget. And uh, so we can, we, we know the relationship of Krishna and five kinds of relationship. Shanta, Dasya, Sakya, Basarya, and uh, Madhurya. And after knowing relationship, we, we try to do uh, something for Seba to attain Prayojana as Prema, love of Godhead. So to, to attain love of Godhead, that process called Abhideya. So this Abhideya's DT is Govinda. Okay. <coughs> and oh our goal is Gopijana Baraba. So someone who, someone who play and maintain and have Lira with Gopi. Gopi is master. Gopi is maintainer. It's, it's called Gopi Jana Baraba. So this Goparamanta describes Sambanda, Abhideya, and Prayojana. But mainly Goparamantra describes Sambanda and it is uh, Abhideya. Of course, Prayajana also there. But this Kama Gayatri is Kama. Kama Deva is two kind. <laughs> Material Kama Deva and spiritual Kama Deva. Especially this Kama Gayatri Kama Deva is spiritual transcendental Kama Deva. And this Kama Deva, this Kama Gayatri, if we chant successfully, this mantra revealed all pastime of Krishna, especially conjugal relationship of Lord, especially Krishna, actually Mohan, Radha, and Mohan, and Gopi and Manjaris. So, Therefore, this Kama Deva, this is spiritual Kama Deva, reveals us all confidential pastime of the Lord. So therefore, many advanced devotees, they chanting this Kama Gayatri. Our Guru Deva also, our dear Mohan Baba, also he's chanting this Kama Gayatri at least 12 years in Barishane. 12 years, only Kama Gayatri. <laughs> and then and he gets... 12 years, non-stop. Jai Ho. Maybe three lakhs or five lakhs, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Madhukari and chanting that. His, disi his disciple told me, he, he's chanting Gayatri, right hand, and his disciple doing Madhukari, and Mohan Bama is eating left hand. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> eating and chanting gayatri <laughs> like this non stop non stopping some people may criticize oh yo oh he's using left hand oh he's using japamara with you know while eating but it's completely transcendental beyond rule and degradation <laughs> so this is karma gayatri so why he chant only karma gayatri because this karma gayatri everything including so and then this karma gayatri this karma deva who has five arrows <laughs> <laughs> so and the uh, karma deva shoot someone in different way sometimes this karma deva usually karma de this karma deva described krishna krishna has five arrows what kind of arrows Krishna Krishna has so much beauty so Krish is someone who wants to see Krishna he like uh, fainted or fall in love Krishna's also fragrance bodily fragrance also so attractive and Krishna's touching also so soft like so soft so nice Krishna's fruit oh my god Krishna's fruit fifth note wa any note penetrate the heart especially gopi's heart gopi's has to run away run and away for for krishna they completely forget everything they may go be may bathing or may dressing some cosmetic or oh, forget just run away manjari has to follow hey swamini wait wait but manjari also follow also krishna's adaramrita krishna's kissing so sweet so some benu madhuri say about five i don't this benu madhuri leela madhuri prema madhuri yeah and eh uh, lila madhuri rupa madhuri rupa madhuri rupa madhuri this is usually for gurudev for uh, yes which this for madhuri which narayan does not have it vishnu does not have it Yeah. So, so much madhuri there, so much nectar there in Krishna. And then that person, someone see Krishna or some, some, someone who shoot by Krishna's this five arrow, that person become faint. So, and Krishna's name is Ananga. So, and usually this Karma Gayatri described Krishna's Gayatri. 
クリシナマントラ is ゴパーラマントラ。クリシナガイトリ is クリシナガイトリ is、えー、カーマガイトリ。But, but, <笑>シュラナーランマハラジズグルデーブズバクティプラギャンケーシャンマハラジ。He described to us. No, actually, this karma gaitri is described Radha and Mohan together. Yeah. Also, also, Hoen, should a Bishibanata Chakurvati Tako, he's researching this karma gaitri. He's counting syllable. He have, he found, found out 25 syllable. But the Krish, but the Krishna Das Kabiraj Goswami describe in Chaitanya Charitamrita 24 plus one half syllable. So, Vishwana Chakrabati Thakur completely amazed. How does it come? Where this half syllab is coming? So he could not get any, you know, he could not get answer. He found out, you know, Jiva Goswami is a Harina Marita Vyakaran, many grammar books. He could not find out. So he was so much, he so much distressed, disturbed. Oh my God, Krishna Das Kabiraj Gosai must be Siddha. How he described 24 and one half syllable. But I could not understand it. Maybe I should commit suicide, jumping Radha Kunda. He was thinking like this. And he was a little bit. You know, kind of sleeping. And then Srimati Radharani appeared in front of him. And he said, Oh, Vishwanatha, oh, Hari Baraba, Krishna's Kabiraj Goswami sings right. He's my dear Manjari. Whatever he sings, correct. So he, you know, and then this one half syllable is described one certain book. Please see this book. Rather than point out one book. Also, Radha Rani is telling him, actually, this Karma Gayatri describes myself. Radha Rani is saying, Karma Gayatri actually is, is describes about me, about Radha. Radha is saying like this. So, but Radha say, nobody, usually nobody understands this secret. Only someone who get mercy, that person could understand. Karma Gayatri describe about Radha. So, I, I was also wondering, what do you mean? What karma gaitri is Radha? <coughs> so, and actually this bus described this karma deva, karma gaitri is Radha. Why is that?
カーマデーバー is love of God. So usually we say カーマデーバー is Cupid. This is material conception. But we also think カーマデーバー is spiritual Cupid. This is Krishna. ブラジェンドナナンダルクリシナ。But、mm-hmm. クリシ、クリシナ is マダナモハン。But ラダ is マダナモハンモヒン。So even ラダ attract that cupid. In that sense, Radha is might be understand supreme Kama Deva. Jaho, Jaho. Very nice. Jaho, Jaranda Maharaj ki Jaho. And、uh, so, and then Radha Rani has also arrow, but Radha Rani.、Mm. Radha Rani has arrow, but he, her arrow is very special. This is Radha Kripa Katakshas arrow. Jaho, Jaho. Radha Rani side long glance.、Mm-hmm. Is this, this, this arrow is Radha's arrow. Jaho. And then, プシュパバーナやディーマヒ、タンノアナンガプラチョーダヤ。わあ、わあ。そう、ファディミアナンガ。ユージャリピープシンキング、おー、アナンガイズノーボディ。ビコーズ、アナンガイズキューピット。ローシバビカムアングリー、ヒバーナウトキューピットズボディ。But、uh, this Cupid is spiritual Cupid. Krishna was shooted by arrow of Radharani. He fainted.、Yeah. Means without bodily consciousness, without, you know, this is called Ananga, some Acharya say.、Mm. So, this fainted situation is called Ananga. Some are challenged. Jaho. So, and then, this Ananga, Krishna's fainted. Who is helping this situation? Who can wake up Mohan? Who is completely fainted? This seva do torashi manjari. She's sing, singing, playing some bina or something. He knows how to wake up Mohan, who fainted. So, this describes in this book, <laughs> Mohan fainted and his yellow cross f a l l off, crown also losing, his fruit also falling down. Yeah. This is Ananga. And I don't know this mention, this book mention, I'm not sure, but、uh, some place, Torashi Manjari praying. So she could wake up Mohan. So this mantra, both meanings there. We could understand this describes Krishna. Also, this. Mantra describe also Radhika. Because 
this karma, this, this pastime need, all the pastime need and Radha Mohan together. Therefore, someone who chant this karma Gayatri, someone who is very fortunate, <coughs> they can, they can, they can, they could know these pastimes and this uh, meaning. And usually, if, if you read in Chaitanya Charitamrita, Prabhupada describes his purport this 24.1 half syllable, it describes Krishna's body, usually. So Krishna's face, uh, Krishna's face is one, Krishna's cheek also, like kind of moon, Two, and Krishna's chandan or sometimes, you know, chandan also one moon. Krishna's eyes, this nail also, ten. Hundred is ten. Feet also ten. This twenty-four. Another one syllable is this part. Forehead. Mm -hmm. Forehead. This is called the half syllable, half moon. This is, uh, I think, Vishwana Chakrabati Thakur's explanation. And then Gurudev's explanation is more far out. <laughs> because Bhakti Piragan Kesha Maharaj describes Karma Gayatri is Radha and describe Radha and Krishna together. Yes. Also, Bhakti Pragyan Kesha Maharaj says this. Bhakti Pragyan Kesha Maharaj describe Karma Gayatri represent Radha and Krishna. You see? So this, is, this is not my word. Hmm? This is not my word. Yes, yes, Don't yes. blame me. No, no, this is this is this is Bhakti Pirankesha Maharaj. Karma Gayat is not only Krishna, but Radha also. This is Bhakti Pirankesha Maharaj's comment. Not my comment. So Sad Maharaj's explanation is more far out, you know. <laughs> This is not my word. <laughs> so Maharaj was saying, Gurudev is saying, 24, Krishna has 12. <laughs> Radha is 12, half and half. And, but, uh, who can, who can meet together? Who can, who can, who can do, who can help Radha and Krishna together, meet together? And this is Manjari. So he's saying this half syllable might be, we may understand this is Manjari. This is uh, his explanation. I was thinking, oh my, oh my God, this is very far out, you know? Uh, and uh, this also, if you Bhakti Priyagan Kesha Maharaj. In this uh, line, you read the first line. All way, Manjari is telling to do this with Krishna. <laughs> 
today only by your side long glance is a fluid will be loosened and cloth is loosened falling down and the cloth will open, uh, automatic become loosened he is out of control and she is inspiring to radha rani to today you have to show me this past time i want to see so she is half but she is more giving mercy that she inspire whole way to her at the time of bringing from home to meeting krishna you see this line is happening in this way so she is also half there who inspired is also in the in the criminal act who shooter is not killer who inspired to shoot they are killer you see the law who inspired to do something they are the real culprit so here my my inspiring that you make your side long glance so attractive today that krishna start losing his fruit coming down and his growth is start loosen and he is out of control you have to do something like this i want to see this i want to see this my swamini okay 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 read again this line you see this this it takes time to understand this because of this way really when can i please when, 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 when uh, radhika when it will happen today is happen <laughs> not tomorrow when now you do this when can i please fully worship that radhika whose arrow like glances cause the prince of raj to faint you see his yellow cloth to fall off his crown to loosen and his flute to fall from his hand do like this somni you have it so much why not you do this whole way she is preparing to her okay and somni on the side long glance looking to fulfill the desire of manjari <laughs> wow huh? Gopina, why you are quiet? Why not you sharing? Yeah. <laughs> um, not only side long glances, no, even her eyebrows. Oh, yeah. When she frowns, mm. she also makes it faint. Wow. wow. It was so beautiful to listen to German. Yeah, na, so beautiful. Wow, Jananda. I love you, my dear. So only Jananda can explain so details to understand this line. Yar, we are so lucky that I steal Jananda. and bring to you not this is you that how you relish him <laughs> so that one 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 thing came uh, if you allow yes please 
in, inspired by 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 Janan, by Sudevi choosing the verse and Gurudev uh, shooting the arrow to Jananda and <laughs> <laughs> actually Gurudev throws the boomerang. You know, in the end, it always comes so beautifully back to him. But you know, we are his boomerang. So in the end, we always bring come back to his beautiful Rasik uh, way of seeing all these leelas. So there is this what Gurudev was saying and Jayanandaji was also elaborating the importance of the Manjari in the Kaam Gayatri. And the Manjari is the culprit, like in, in instigator, telling Radharani, when with your sidelong glances, you will make this, you know, this uh, prince of Raj faint. And the Manjari can waken up Right, she can try, but in the end, what does Cupid need? What does Ananga need? Ananga needs Sangha. He needs the Sangha of Radha, the union of the two. Then he's really, you know, then he's really fully in relish. So in the end, all Radha Rani has to come and waken him with her arrows again, you know, and again he will faint. And again, she has to awaken him. And again, she can shoot her arrows on him. So this is such a beautiful, intense uh, verse right now. And I feel like um, it's very nice to relish it together. And, uh, One thing come to me yeah. also. <laughs> Boomerang is back to the... Who <laughs> Manjari can show you that killing become Ananga. Killing means Radha Krishna can become Ananga. Ananga means the Mahaprabhu stopped the mouth of Raya Ramana. <laughs> not say more than that. What is? Na ham Raman, na ham Ravani. The Maha. The highest concept of cling is Ananga. Ananga means when they, they both divine couple forget who is Krishna and who is Radha? Radha become Krishna and Krishna become Radha. That is Ananga. Wow. <laughs> See that? Oh my God. And this is the service of Half. Who is far old way to my Swami? This is the beauty mm. of our lineage. Understand, Sudevi, you are very genius. I understand. Yes. <sighs> I'm also fainting. So <laughs> <a> beautiful. <laughs> I see you in cling. I see you together. But I want to see who is who when they forget themselves. Mm -hmm. Endless relish in the calm diet <coughs> No. In Nitan and family, 
first they chant Gopmana before we, every place you chant first it, Gopal Mantra, then Kamga. Right? Mm -hmm. But in Nityananda Parivar, one Goswami said, No, I first have to chant mm -hmm. Kamga, then Gopal mm -hmm. <laughs> Why would it? Because of this. <laughs> <laughs> like this. <laughs> Can I say that? Or oh, maybe I should not say. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> say the like power. Uh, it is a God. It will be very beneficial. So, like I say. After us. After us, it will be beneficial who like to listen to that. Like uh, say, Radha Mohan, which worship first? <laughs> some, some person worship Krishna first. Some person maybe worship Radha. So, so which one is, which one is Ishtadeva? We are Radha Adik Sneha or Bishama Sneha or Sama Sneha. <laughs> Explain this. Everyone will not understand. So there is three kinds of gopi. So Bishama Sneha means sometimes Bishama Sneha is just uh, Krishna Adik Sneha. Some gopi likes more, more uh, some, some gopi likes Krishna more than Radha. This is called Bishama Sneha or Krishna Adik Sneha. And uh, some gopi, they likes Radha and Mohan, same Equally, I like Radha Krishna, Radha Mohan equally. This is Samasneha Gopi. And then another Gopi is Radha Adik Sneha Gopi. So I like Radha than Mohan. So there is three kinds of Gopi. So three kinds of Gopi deal Krishna little bit different way. So our Sampradaya is Radha Adik Sneha. Radha Adik Sneha is usually, it is called, Radha, Radha Adik Sneha Gopi is called Manjari or Kinkari. So for, we, we are, we don't, we don't, <laughs> We don't approach Krishna directly. We don't approach Krishna unless Radha. Unless we have, uh, if Radha want us to do something, then we can approach Krishna. But uh, we don't approach Krishna or Mohan directly, no. So, these three kinds of gopi there. So, therefore, we are more like Lada. We like Lada. We love Lada than Mohan. So, therefore, if someone, someone taste, if someone thinking, oh, my Swami is my Ishtadeva, and I, I like their meeting. And then might be Kama Gayatri first. That, that Goswami's is idea is, is if we try to understand this is three kinds of gopi and what kind of mood they are. So that might be, you know, some some kind of consideration.
राधे राधे गुरु देव महाराज Radha Adi Sneha. So devotees who are deeply absorbed in Radhika, actually they have to listen their natural Baba when they are chanting these different Gayatri mantras, but yeah. not to go mechanically, but what they feel in that moment. So if we sometimes. Feel to chant Radha's mantra more or Kama Gayatri more. We have to allow ourselves to do it, not to restrict ourselves with the rules and regulations, because we will come in the trap of Vaidhi. It's similar like meditation on Ashtakala Lila. It's not the point. Point of Ashtakala Lila <clears throat> is to get some general view of what's going on. But we need the details, and these details <coughs> are depending on Baba. Those devotees who are vishamsni, they are more concentrating on the details which are focused on Krishna. Those devotees who are rada uh, samasni, they are focused more in details of sakiba. And devotees, like we have beautiful example of ragu. Raguna, uh, Prabodh Nanda Saraswati is here telling us that actually he is Radha Adisni, and he is focused in details, in details, in details, in the details of Radhika and Nivriti Nikunja pastime with her Nagar. So I'm. Trying to explain this to tell because Guru Dev helped me in this way to not go in all this smarana and all this meditation in mechanical way, but to follow the heart, and this heart must be in connection, not whimsically. In connection, strongly fixed with Baba, Radha, Adi, Sne, yeah. or Manjari Baba. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. I just. We do. We do. One question came now when listening to Guranga Sunda Guru. Ah, uh, can I ask? Yeah. Come through. So, Brother Sundar, one question just came to me, and I was listening now to you. This very beautiful explanation of the different halves. So we always, like Jananda Prabhuji was telling today, that some say that the Kam Gayatri is the Krishna mantra, according to their bhav. Some feel it's the Radha mantra according to their bhav, but then I was feeling what does the Manjari feel here now, and the Manjari never wants this to end. The transcendental Cupid meeting his the Swamini, the meeting should never end. So this mantra actually, Gurudev, is then the most important mantra to develop our Swarup Shakti. Yeah. 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 You see my Gopinath, 
for the manjari I was feeling now like <laughs> you see that wow see that eh? Gopinata Bai Gopinata Bai he knows everything but he's just asking on behalf of us is naughty naughty very naughty naughty <laughs> eh naughty and one thing more is a hiding is a great mercy of somni great blessing of somni Rare to find like this realization. Radhe Radhe Guru Dev. Can I ask a question? It's Buddha. I don't have camera. I'm sorry. <coughs> It's okay. Yeah, welcome, my dear. Um, it's a question really to um, Jainanda Das uh, Maharaj. The, what I heard when you were speaking, what I found really inspiring, was that um, was that um, what should I say? Ananga has in the in the in the verse that we chant in the mantra ananga has two meanings at the same time and that's that was the that was the main point you're making that on the one hand it means krishna cupid but on the other hand it means love itself so that we're actually praying to to love itself which i think is a support to what uh, Karagasuna was just saying about uh, not being mechanical. That when it's all always a matter of seeking love, love itself, and in this case, transcendental love, then it always has to be personal. It will never be mechanical. And this mystery of lying between uh, praying to Krishna as, as Cupid, the lover, and praying to love itself, This is what I understand to be Mankiri Bhav. This is a, sorry, it doesn't sound like a question, Jainanda <laughs> Bhai, but uh, it is a question. <laughs> Radhe Radhe. So, So I could not I could not understand this is, is a question or a comment with the ji I meant that respectfully as a as a as a question Jananda Maharaj to, to maybe to just ask you to if you if is that what you understand what I what I said is that what you meant to say is that what you understand uh, it's, could you say again simple more question because I could not catch it clearly that ananga has two mm. meanings at the same time mm. one is cupid the other mm. is transcendental love itself mm. yes yes that's true like say like for example we say ananga manjari is sister of radha so if we are thinking <laughs> So ananga means in ananga manjari ananga <laughs> so it's it may understand also go you know lada and uh, for manjari for this mantra's meditation maybe gopinatha bhaiya also describing this meditation as manjari it's just this 39th bus 
So, Manjari want to see because is Lada Konka Moha. Now, this is this is Manjari's vision. So, so this Ragnat Das Goswami, Ragnat Das Rati Manjari, Turashi Manjari was is his vision is like this. This thirty ninth verse. This is as Manjari's vision is karma guided in this thirty ninth verse. As my understanding. <laughs> Very nice. Radhe, Radhe. Oh, yeah. If I can share something. Sure. Yeah. From the point of Manjari, uh, this Ananga is also union. And Manjaris are looking through the holes of means of Nivriti Nikunja. And they are listening what's going on between two lovers. And they're waiting the moment of their seva to help them. But also, like Guru Dev said, and it's emphasizing the point actually that Manjari is praying to Radhika, I want to see him, Mohan, how he is completely lost. And please give me this Kripa for my Kataksha. Kripa Kataksha for my Kataksha, I want to this situation because with your glances, my dear Swamini, you are also giving Kripa to your lover. So yeah. we have, yeah. you, we can see very clearly through the ears actually how Kripa is going and going through from Radhika, who is the source of Kripa, through her glances, which are the instruments of Kripa, directly to the Mohan, and on the other side, this Kripa, through her glances, and all situations, is going in the eyes and the heart of Manjaris. Yeah. So, yeah. So this is the way how Manjaris are proud on their Swami. Mm. Because Krishna chants whole world, all gopis are fainted because of him. But he's not fainting because of them. <coughs> he is calling them with his venu, Madhura. And they lost themselves. But he doesn't lost himself. But in the moment when Radhika just shoot the arrow of her side glance, side long glance, he is completely stunned. She doesn't have to make any endeavor. Yeah. Not like my mother Yashoda, or she was running, poor mother, she was running, running, running to catch him, to bite him. No, Radhika is very tightly biting him with the corner of her side long glass. And this yeah. is Kripa Kataksha. Yeah. And Manjaris are in ecstasy when they are witnessing this. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, Karanga, can I ask a, a question when you say uh, 
Hanage is, is union, is the union that happens in the Leela, is it the same every time or is it different every time? You're asking me or? Yes, because you spoke of union, which oh. I agree, I understand. I'm wondering when yeah, we think of the Leela. Yeah, but this is the special union, my dear. This is the special union. It's not union in Radakund in other places. This kind of union is Shringar Ras, and this is Ujwal Ras, it's special union. Not the Rasa. Ujwal, not the Rasa, Jananda. Ujwal, not the Rasa. Not the Rasa. You see? Unnat means what is the meaning of Unnat? Jananda. <laughs> yes. Huh? It is not a common rasa. Mm -hmm. It's is is unknown. <laughs> Before no nobody knows. This is very, very special rasa. <laughs> Unknown rasa is unnat <laughs> by grace of Chaitanya. Mm. It was hidden before. Radhe, uh, can I say something? Sure, welcome. <laughs> Radhe, Radhe, something came to me uh, while everybody was speaking is that Ananga is Gauranga. Um, because when Radha and Krishna meet, they both faint, they both don't know who is who anymore, and they merge and they become Gauranga. Yeah, you see, this is and, Mahabhava. Yeah. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> and, and Ananga Manjari is Nityananda, and so this is. Nityananda is the one who is enabling all the pastimes of Radha and Krishna. Yeah. The Ananga Manjari, he is the one, or she is the one Manjari that connects the Ananga to make them Ananga or yeah. Gauranga. Yeah, I, I hug you, my dear. <laughs> Din Dayal, yeah. uh, you see, <laughs> what gives I know. that uh, to you? <laughs> My dear, Krushya is a very special place. Yeah. <laughs> and one, one, one more thing. <laughs> yeah. The, Radhika's eyes are the arrows, and her eyebrows are the bows. Wow! <laughs> My God! See, Radha, she's the one of the beautiful painter. Yeah. Wow! <laughs> hey, Guru okay. Dev, you are by the one. <laughs> <laughs> One thing, Gopinath. I'm just to... saying, actually, Gurudev is a very naughty manjari. <laughs> because he opened the half syllable and now all is pouring out. Oh, yeah. oh, and uh, and one, one more thing, also to get to connected to uh, this whole thing with Ananga and Ananga manjari, not only Nityananda is Ananga Manjari, but all our Guru Manjari is also called Ananga Manjari. So that's also the one Manjari that's connecting us to the Ananga or Radha Krishna and Goranga. Now you are online. You see, we have to teach etiquette to Gopinath. <laughs> He is coming out of a decade. He said to Guru, he's a naughty. 
This is the etiquette. <laughs> this is the greatest. He said to me, naughty. Protect me, bhai. He told me, he said to me, that I am a naughty person. <laughs> you see, this is the Guru Sishya relation. <laughs> This is it. <laughs> this, this is Guru Shishya relation yeah. in your Manjari bhav. Yeah. You see how Rati Manjari chastises Rupa Manjari? Are you are a chastised woman in this braja? And how your lips are bited by some. Someone is is a surprising. You are a chastised woman. Who come and bite your lips? You see, this is the pratna. This is the pratna. Narayan Maharaj said, "Forget your all injunctions." What is it? Scripture. Is rules and the yeah. scripture. Rules scripture and injunctions. Yes. Scripture injunction. This is the beauty of Manjari Bhav Sadhana. Or logic and reasoning. Logic and reasoning. Wow. There are this. <laughs> <laughs> No, who don't attending Friday class of uh, hidden path of devotion, you are losing something. <laughs> All has to come and join these classes of Narayan Maharaj. Words of hidden path of devotion, Friday, four thirty through Japan. Beautiful happening. Twelve o'clock in Europe. Twelve o'clock in Europe. Listen. Yeah. Wow. So there we is sitting and waiting. <laughs> <laughs> no on. This is on. Why? We want to go. Only on. relishing. <laughs> I don't know others are relishing or not. See, I want to see all devotees. They are relishing or not. I make the big, um, big screen only to see devotees. They feel and they understanding or not. Yeah. Yeah. You are relishing or not, my dear? You are understanding or not? One hundred eighteen. Yeah. Oh, my God. Wow. Growing, my dear. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Go on. Go on. So, David, go on. Read, go on. So, David. Just as a hero at war may faint and drops his bow and arrows while his crown falls off and his clothes become disarranged when he is hit by an arrow. So also Krishna, the transcendental, useful Cupid of Rendavan, drops his flute while his peacock feather crown falls off and wow. his yellow dhoti becomes disheveled. So, un in unordnung. When he is hit by Sri Radhika's arrow-like glance, yeah. an ordinary hero may slay hundreds of soldiers on the battlefield, but when a great hero, a Mahavira, strikes him with an arrow, uh, Mahavira, Mahavira, my son is Mahavira. <laughs> and even the ordinary hero will faint. Wow. Similarly, 
Krishna can make hundreds of gopis faint with his glances. Mm. But when the great heroine, Sri Radhika, casts even one single arrow-like glance at him, even Krishna will faint. Hundreds of gopis... Understand? So important to give time for this first line. All I will understand, you read again this line, and then listen nicely. Again read this. From Similarly, Krishna can make... From first, just... No. This one. The verb. Uh, the verb. Start. Okay. Well, Only a little. When can I blissfully worship that Radhika whose arrow-like glances cause the Prince of Raj to faint, his yellow cloth to fall off, his crown to loosen, and his flute to fall from his hand? Just as a hero at war may faint and drops his bow and arrows while his crown falls off and his clothes become disarranged when he is hit by an arrow. So also Krishna, the transcendental, useful Cupid of Rindavan, drops his flute while his peacock feather crown falls off and his yellow dhoti becomes disheveled when he is hit by Sri Radhika's arrow-like glance. An ordinary hero may slay hundreds of soldiers on the battlefield, but when a great hero, a Mahavira, strikes him with an arrow, then even the ordinary hero will faint. Similarly, Krishna can make hundreds of gopis faint with his glances, but when the great heroine Sri Radhika casts even one single arrow-like glance at him, even Krishna will faint. Hundreds of gopis squirm, krummen sich, like deer struck by arrows when they hear the song of Krishna's flute. But when Radha casts one single glance at Krishna, that same flute will fall from his hand. That peacock, that peacock feather, that is a unique hallmark of the Vracha pastimes, and that enchants all the beautiful girls of Raj, rolls in the dust of Raj. And that yellow cloth that looks most beautiful, like a steady lightning strike was in a rain cloud within Krishna's body, or like a golden line drawn by a wet stone, and that steals the pride of the beautiful girls of Raja's families, is now falling from Krishna's waist when Radhika casts one powerful glance at him. The force of love brings ecstasy to Sri Krishna. Sri Krishna, who is the very form of transcendental bliss, has fainted from one single glance of Sri Radha. And Srimati is very upset with that. She tries to bring him back to life in different ways. 
but to no avail. Finally, Swamini desperately takes shelter of her maid servant, saying, Oh, I could not remove Priyatama's swoon. Why don't you see what you can do? Now, the Rasika service of the Rasika maidservant starts. In order to revive Nagara, the maid servant sings a sweet love song that Swamini once taught her in a cave of Govardhan Hill. After the maid servant brought Shyam back to consciousness in this way, the sweet pastimes of the divine couple begin. How blissful that makes our Rasika, Paricharika, our maidservant. After these love pastimes, the maidservant fans the divine couple and serves them cold water, betel leaves, and flower garlands. The word Rasena in the text can also mean I will serve you together with Krishna, who is transcendental mellows personified. The Upanishad say Raso Vaisa God yeah. is taste. Then, suddenly, the transcendental revelation disappears and Sri Pat humbly prays, when can I worship that Radhika with Rasa? Thus ends the commentary of this verse. 39. When can I blissfully worship that Radhika whose arrow like glances cause the prince of Raj to faint, his yellow cloth to fall off, his crown to loosen, and his flute to fall from his hand? Devi. Yes, please. What you are doing? Mm. You will make the change the heart of German. What they will say? No heist this guy. <laughs> <laughs> you bring it down to the heart. <laughs> My God. <laughs> what will happen to German heist to guys? <laughs> you bring down my my Gora Sundar say something on this point. Bring your ego and mind. Leave ego and bring mind to down to the heart. And passion is lower. So bring the passion also up to the heart. Can you listen from his words? Gora Sundara, please listen his his commentary on this subject is a new subject. No. The Geist is the highest. <laughs> <laughs> but Dandavats to all of you. Big hugs, loving hugs. Yes, so we have so sweet every day, many hours here to sit with Gurudev and have nice exchanges and some pictures coming that uh, the ego and the mind is in the, this in this area, mm -hmm. right? Ego mm -hmm. together with the mind. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Always. <laughs> <laughs> and on the lower position, there is last. And Krishna said, it's only last that we are here, right? <laughs> Somehow, there's a free <laughs> So, <laughs> what is the meaning? My, then, if it, no battery is there. Sorry, Klein did you see her? The mind in the heart by meditation of our form of transcendental pastimes and so on, and bring the energy from the lower part, the last, also in the, in the heart. Then there is this power we can transform together with the mind in love to our goal, mm. that means the kunja. The, the, the ego will be inactive. There is, without the mind, there is no meaning of ego. And so, if, <laughs> right? You mean to quarantine the ego? <laughs> this means the real quarantine. <laughs> Corona. <laughs> Corona, I think it's also something here in this area. Corona. 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 So you see, this is possible. By a deep meditation, we can bring really our power in the heart. And with this power, we can go in the Kunja. This is possible. So the ego will automatically knock out. So no ego. <laughs> so simple Very and simple. so in. Perhaps the ego is kissed and faints. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, uh, you see? And that, that was one beautiful, I just got it and then uh, in, in Gopinath, he, he must got it before because there was a beautiful image. Maybe we get it now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of the, of our Jesus. And this is explaining exactly. This one. Ah, yeah. <laughs> this was not the one. <laughs> Gopinath is always joking. No, 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 only when Babu comes. You see this? You see this beautiful picture of Jesus? Exactly what he is showing there in this beautiful picture. This is what is coming out of the heart. This is the power of love together with the mind to, because we need the mind to imagine our spiritual form and then we are free from ego on this part there is no ego no false ego there is also the ego of the manjari bar right and you the, see this picture and the colors yellow yeah. and red yes yeah. and, and gurudev explained these colors yellow and red this is one side is the passion and one side is the laugh, right? Good. Is. No. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So powerful this picture, no? Also. I can we can share it on Radha Das. Yeah. yeah, we will share it. Yeah. Thank you, all of you. Radhe Radhe. Radhe Radhe. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. So you. Much. My Sudevi, I shall will give so much enlightenment to everyone. I am proud of you, Sudevi. You find this subject for today. Jai. With all the six devotees and also beautiful sharing. Uddhav is coming in to share and give his feeling. I'm proud of him. Jai. Mahabhav is natural, no? <laughs> Mahabhav. 
Actually, she is close to Radhika. She is Mahabhava. <coughs> Thank you. So nice. <laughs> Good or not? I think we cannot call it German class anymore. <laughs> <laughs> International. We have all classes are international. Yeah. Yes. No, no, German class. <laughs> <laughs> I, I surprised Gora Sundar is very heist to guys. <laughs> Nice <laughs> with the guys, <laughs> and he changed like this. No, go to Sunda yet. No, no. Thanks to all devotees. Then you will give mercy to understand this. I am so proud that this rustic way will go on more and more, and it will develop. You see the Mahaprabhu, when the fishermen bring out to Chaitanya, and they touch Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and by touching only, they will start dancing and singing. Mm. So this is the Rasika, this is the Rag Bhakti, where they will get the touch of this love. They all will start, become mad. They will forget every material identification. You will do this, and other will happen like this. When fisherman can do, and others, his family change his life. Not Mahaprabhu is touching. The fisherman touch his wife, he start, she start dancing. And she start touching to other, they start dancing. This is the other. Raga Bhakti virus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, this is the thing. We are lower than fishermen who get the chance to bring out from that. Everything can happen in our life. Narayan Maharaj say, no qualification required, only your greed is required. Beg, borrow, or steal is required. Nothing else. You see, steal. Lauliam, lauliam, sacred greed. Lauliam. So, jati is sung is required. 